Hey there, thanks for joining me. I thought we'd do something a little different and fun today. So in a lot of my um, yoga classes, I introduce cross lateral movements into the practice. This is any motion that requires coordinating um, movement on both sides of the body. And then when the movement crosses um, from one side to the other, it's called um, crossing the midline. So alternating the actions on each side of the body encourages um, connections between the two hemispheres in the brain and helps our limbs, eyes, ears, and, and everything in our body work together. This is extremely beneficial for people who are aging, keeping everything open and flowing here in the brain. It's also very beneficial for um, students. There has been some links to um, some benefits academically when they're practicing these. So let's just get into doing a few. So here is one very basic starting one. It might seem extra easy to some people. It also depends on just the day and the time, I think. Um, we did this one today and, and one of the students who was fine with it last week was very was struggling a little bit today. But we're just gonna start with this, make an L with your fingers, index finger to thumb, index finger to thumb. And then we're just gonna kind of do that whole itsy bitsy spider thing, right? Just index finger to thumb. And you can even challenge your brain a little bit more by moving it off to one side or maybe up and down or going in a circle. There we go. That's a nice warm up. Let's do that. This is one that we've been working on the last few days that's uh, created quite a few giggles. Um, but I love, I have one student who has been working really hard. She's been practicing at it because it's been so important to her to so important to her to accomplish so just take one finger and touch your nose and then take the other hand crossing it underneath grab your ear and then we're going to switch pinch and touch but just be careful you're not pinching your nose and we're just going to keep switching and switching and switching and just keep going back and forth take your time it might take some extra concentration but that's a good one. And then one more today, just to get it through. Um, I found this one to be a lot more challenging, which surprised me. So we're gonna start with some fists and just turn the fists towards you. And we're gonna send out the thumb and the pinky. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. And then the thumb and the pinky. And then the other side. And the other side. And just keep going back and forth. You're probably going to have other fingers that want to join in and uh, play. <laughs> but just try to keep it just the thumb and the pinky going from side to side. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. Have a little bit of fun with it. Um, don't take it too, too seriously. You can get better at it, but just enjoy the laugh. Um, if you really want to challenge, take your fist that way and I I don't know why turning the fist this way make it easier for me, but doing it this way, I, I don't know. You can even play with that and see if that works. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.